I'm doing my best. So go, even though you don't feel ready, go. Absolutely gorgeous, I'm a fan. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh wow. What could I say that's positive? Dinner is served. I need to be inside. Sasa babe, her body's in your water. Go ahead, Jay. I'm about to measure myself actually. Wait one sec, I need to get a tape measure. That's a space that I need to tidy up. I always forget about that cupboard where the little boiler is. Yeah, what's up babe? So I am literally here, I'm about to jump on a call with a tailor. Well, I was meant to jump on this call at 1 p.m. Nigerian time, but it's currently half past three Nigeria. So as you can see, we're currently operating on black man timing. <laughs> we really are operating on black man timing. Guys, I'm gonna tell you about one time I went to a wedding with my mom and my husband and the wedding started four hours late. Four hours late, guys. That's what you call African timing. Like, why are we so bad with time? Why don't we, why don't we stick to time? Anyway, so I was meant to be in this call two and a half hours ago, but I'm still, still hanging on hope that it's gonna happen today because this company is actually really good. Like, well, actually, let me wait. Let me wait and see when the item arrives. But the item looks really, really good. And then I got in touch with them and I was like, do you guys mind just like coming on WhatsApp and measuring with me? Because I don't want to get it wrong. Like, I want it to be perfect. And yes, I could just use the measurements that Atanuke has for me, for, for me rather. Atanuke being ADK, the lady who's like designing my main Yombo ceremony dress. I could just use her measurements but i want them to do it the way they want to do it do you know what i mean guys i have ptsd i've already collected my been there done that flag in terms of wedding planning that's all i mean not marriage side of things because i'm literally doing that but the wedding planning thing i've been there i've done that i i know how these things can like just go wrong like one slight thing that you think is not that important can actually end up being really important so i just need them to measure me okay or measure with me and tell me okay lydia put the tape here put the tape there all of that shoulders hip bust under bust i know how to do it but i want to just make sure that we're doing it the way they want it to be done. So yeah, that's what's happening today. Otherwise, your girl has just been packing. Like I have, all I'm doing is packing. Like I told you guys, you know what the move is right now. <laughs> the move is that we have to move. <laughs> Lost in pain. I know you believe me because this is proof. This is really proof. Like I mentioned in the previous vlogs, our landlord served us on notice. So we need to literally move from here. And I am in the process of like packing, but I'm trying to pack in a very relaxed, organized, calm, take your time kind of way, as opposed to trying to do it all in 24 hours, trying to do it all in a week. Like I really don't want to do that. So I have been packing all of the things that we don't need. And I've done the bedroom upstairs, bedroom downstairs, the so down, bedroom downstairs, because we're still living here and we're still going to continue living here. It's like, I pack and then like, there's a mess. I pack, there's a mess. So I'm doing my best. I'm feeling really good about it actually. The main purpose of this for me is just to not be stressed. You know, avoiding stress. Guys, what's happening? Where's, what's, where's my call? I'm here chatting to you like I'm not meant to be measuring myself. Guys, there's always something like with, oh my goodness, with wedding planning, there is always something. Just be ready to be ruffled left, right, forward by something brand new every single day. Just got a message from Lauren who is actually on her way right now to go and get fabric because she's also going to be making her own, like her own outfit from the same fabric. And there's an issue and now i'm getting a message from the tailor at the same time let me hear what lauren's got to say hey you're right i just went to pick it they're closed anyway so i'll come back tomorrow it's not holland textiles it's that one so just double check in that's the one that's like sandwiched between the previous photo that you sent me but it's not holland textiles oh yeah that's actually it that's right i need to tell my mom that because i sent my mom the same address okay good okay forward this to my mom and she needs to send this to my auntie guys there's so much organization that's going on like in my head between like trying to move house and also trying to get wed at the same time like don't do those things at the same time it not make no sense okay crisis averted one taylor's <laughs> ma'am it's going on right taylor's yes we're ready okay cool taylor's are ready hey they're calling and i've changed hello good afternoon how are you? Are you are you with your measuring tape? Yes, I am with my measuring tape. Is somebody with you or you are the new one? Oh, do I need somebody with me? I mean like, you know, if you are taking your place measurement. Alright, okay. Alright, okay, one sec. Babe, do you mind if I use your help, please? Thank God for our helpful husband. Okay, so um your bust measurement. Bust measurement? Yes, ma'am, that's around your around your boobies. Which 
the top to snatch me and just to compliment um the skirt but can i sit down with this with this top can you sit down and eat i mean the corset blouse so. <laughs> but it's very i mean it's very 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 most my most what you can it's actually you can drive you can sit down definitely. i can so long as i can sit down i have to make sure that because the reason why i'm making this dress is because my first dress i can't sit in it okay All right, thank you so much thank, thank you thank you both congratulations once again bye. thank you bye bye <laughs> guys I ended up with my bonnet. Also, these are my beauty blenders. You go out on a state, organized. I washed them. Now I need to wash my brushes. My brush just staring at me like, yeah, they look crazy. This is this is not how I came on looking. That call went well. Thank God for my husband. Oh my goodness. Thank God for working from home as well because he helps me so much during the days. Like when he's at work and I have my own little crisis my own little emergencies he's just so so helpful and i'm just so glad that man i'm just i'm just glad with what god did <laughs> god did something there for sure but um yeah that that's done so now the tailor is going to be making that top for me and then as you guys heard i'm going to make a skirt for me to sit down because as much as i love my atk dress and it's snatched and it's gorgeous guys it's a dancing dress and brides know what i mean it's a dancing dress it's not one for comfort for sitting but i'm, I'm sure she can make them like my, all my other dresses that she's made for me i've been able to sit down in but it's just this specific one the way it's been made you've seen brides getting up coming in cars like like this sitting in cars like this lying down like that's what the dress gives so i need to come up with an alternate solution for me to be able to sit down so i'll come in dance 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 then i'll change into this top and another skirt and then this could be like my dancing my eating my celebrating and then if i want to i probably will still change back to my other dress i don't know i'm doing a lot this is the same girl who was like i'm not gonna do too much i don't want to do too much but here i am i'm just having fun with the fabrics and having fun with the idea of this ceremony because guys it has been heavy on our minds oh my goodness like trying to move homes and trying to plan a wedding at the same time it's just by the grace of god it's just by the grace of god but i've got a whole bunch of things to do i want to go to b and q to pick up some boxes because there's a few things i need to get in place ahead of our move like i said you know organized video is kicking in so i want to have things like a medicine cabinet ready with all of our medicine quick access i want to have an essential box as well which is like essentials that we'll need straight away i'm talking like toilet paper i'm talking like toothbrush toothpaste food snacks tissue kitchen roll like that kind of stuff you know so i want to make one of those for when we have to move i need to get some bubble wrap some markers some boxes typical moving stuff you know but then at the same time guys i'm planning a wedding like literally genuinely planning a wedding so <sighs> Gosh, guys, sometimes you just have to go. Even when you don't feel ready, you honestly just have to go. Because if you sit waiting for the perfect opportunity, for the perfect moment to make your move, you honestly will never make your move. So go, even though you don't feel ready, go, get moving, make a plan, do the thing that you want to do. Like I said before, your life is a outcome of the things that you did, not the things that you said that you were going to do guys i've got a girl hack a girl hack for you guys i wish somebody told me about nappy sacks during my time of the month because so i use these because the bags are odor neutralizing the bags have this really nice kind of powdery smell so whatever waste you put in here whether that be a nappy a tampon a pad once you've tied it like this give it a good strong tie all of the odor is literally contained in there and that's so useful, especially when you're sharing spaces, especially when you're sharing a bathroom. This is the kind of stuff that I wish somebody told me like before moving in with a man, you know? I live by my, well, I said I live by myself, but before I live by myself, I live with my auntie. And my auntie obviously is a woman, so like she gets it. She gets all the womanly things. And not that my husband doesn't, because he absolutely does, but there's definitely, I can understand how somebody can have an anxiety, especially if you've never ever lived with a man like before. You have to be a girl, you have to exist. And existing means that existing with periods every single month. But it's also like, you know, not always the most 
sanitary time you don't always feel the cleanest however i know that during time of the month you know you want to feel cleaner than usual you want to make sure that you're not leaving any traces of what's happening and i just feel like sanitary bags is just like a really nice smart odor free way of disposing of your menstrual rubbish in your bin without it kind of hogging up the room you guys you know like if you know you know i don't need to explain it and people should normalize it i'd rather we have conversations about how to solve any kind of awkward issues it's not really an issue but any kind of awkward bits that are happening i'd rather we talk about it than pretend it doesn't happen and then somebody else is suffering like oh my god i've just moved in with a man for the first time ever and what do i do when it's the time of the month like what do i do go out you'd live and you get yourself some nappy sacks like you literally that's what you do Let me share my laser, my morning routine. Yango or Wango? Morning routine, Yango, my morning routine. Guys, you know, I'm also just practicing my Swahili. I'll be practicing with you guys too. Thanks for all the love and support. My mom is also my biggest cheerleader. Like when she's, she sees me speak Swahili online, she's like, you know, you need to say a few more things. <laughs> I'm like, mother, I know. <laughs> I know. Morning. I am just about to get ready, guys. Today, are you ready? Buckle up, because I have got so much to do. And I thought, you know what? Let me just take you along with me because that might make it a little bit more fun. Because the list, my God, the list is long. Uh, whoever told us, actually, no, we didn't decide this. I was just about to say, whoever told us to move and get married at the same time, don't listen to that guy. And I remembered, actually, we didn't decide this. The landlord decided this for us. So what I will say is that I don't do this. Like, this is not something that you should do on a consecutive timeline because my to-do list, I was literally just posting on my story today, but my to-do list is longer than me, no cap. Anyway, guys, that was my wig. Oh my God, I didn't even show you guys. It was on this styrofoam wig cap. I got this from the hair shop or Amazon, one of them. But I keep these wigs in here because Damini doesn't like them. He, he doesn't like the, the heads, these heads, they scare him. He's like, ah! I remember one time we had this in our bedroom and he was like, please, babe, please. <laughs> so yeah, these are kind of scary. Have you seen one of these in the dark at night? Like it literally looks like there's a floating head. Wig, iffy London, really nice, really light. I want to try and install this for my very busy day today that you're going to join me on, okay? I conveniently have this mark, this hyperpigmentation mark right here on my forehead, which I use as a marker when I'm putting my wigs down, even when if he's putting them down, I'm like, yep, yeah, just right on the mark, thank you. Hyperpigmentation, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I really wanna try and get this looking cute. Which way do you start first? Do you start from the top or do you start from the flaps? On my to-do list today, I've got a bunch of errands to run. I need to go to B&Q, I already told you about that. I also need to go to Home Bargains to re-up on home supplies, cleaning supplies. Then I also need to go to the supermarket. Damini is not well at the moment. So yeah, Damini is not feeling too good. He's got a cold. And guys, like I said, I haven't caught a cold yet. This whole entire winter, oh my God. Praise God, they got my ginger shots. So I haven't actually made some this week yet. So I wanna go to Aldi and go and get, is it Aldi or Little? I never know, I always get them wrong. But I'm gonna go and pick up some ingredients for ginger shots. And then, oh, I wanted to make that Nando's sauce for the chicken, because I have a chicken deep defrosting in the freezer. Guys, I am the adult. I am the adult who has to buy the food, defrost the food, cook the food. It's a lot, okay? I also need to get back on wedding yombo planning stuff. Oh, Ali's calling. Mr. Rasul. Hey, friend. What's up, fam? Oh, How are you? I'm you good. You think so? I know so. <laughs> Thanks, man. Where are you going? Looking all cute. Nowhere. I've just got work to do. Oh, for real? I've got a bunch of errands. Are you back in the country? I just landed now. You just landed. Well done. Welcome, welcome back. So proud of you. Thanks, man. 
Oh, thanks to you, you made this shit happen. How did it go? It went good, man. I can't lie to you, like, it went so good that I, can't, I met other clients there, etc. you know? Yeah. They wanted me to do Paris Fashion Week, but I told them I can't, I'm, I'm, I can't snake Lydia again. You say not again, not 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 twice in a row. When's, when's Paris? Paris is when? It's happening now. Oh, really? I was just catching up with Ali. I'm so proud of him. He went and did some work for Milan Fashion Week. And I'm just like, literally, what? Congrats, big congrats. Guys, I have, when I came out the shower, I have like three bites on my leg. It's really itchy. I feel like I want to put like an antihistamine. Do I have some cream? I think I have some. I know I definitely have some downstairs from my, in my travel section. Let's go and check. I might even take, let me take um let me take this you guys said that you liked it in the last vlog when i've been using my new camera i'm gonna have it linked below for you guys to check out too if you want you guys said that you liked it so should we test it out as we go downstairs let's go and look for some antihistamine by the way i still hadn't figured out that issue with the light so this is my drawer i have my travel things in here could be in one of these oh look at that perfect hydrocortisone cream it has some gel on it though oh it's my face wash my face wash is spilled i have tons of these because you guys know i have sun allergies like who the hell which black person do you know who's allergic to the sun apart from your good sis but i think it's actually a vitamin c d deficiency not vitamin c i believe it's a vitamin d deficiency actually oh Oh, she's itchy. She is itchy. You guys can see my boxes in the back. <laughs> she's still packing. I don't even know if you guys can see them. There's one there, one there, one there. And then there's even two there. They are itchy. So I'll just leather that. One thing I'm really enjoying about this camera is how agile it is. Like literally, I love that. Guys, <laughs> I've told you about in here. I need to have a few parcels that I wanted to unbox, but let me go and finish my hair first. Finish my hair and then I can show you some bits that have arrived. Guys, my order from Kai, the Kai sale is here. Then I have some bits from like ASOS and stuff as well, but I am so freaking excited. You got blue. I am so freaking excited for my Kyle cell order. Right, let's see how this has turned out. Back to the big cam. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. I have a few bits here that I might just need to clean up and then just clean up the edges. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. Oh, let me not cut myself, guys. The reverse of the mirror throws me off. Let me get this right. I don't do this often, but since we style guys i'm not mad at all and it didn't even take long i'm just gonna do the trick that i taught you guys in the i didn't teach i passed on in the last vlog just had to blend this in i'm really happy with this actually guys you know with the wedding planning the yombo planning right the other day <laughs> i had to make a call to kenya i was trying to like inquire about something and guys tell me why i had to buy a talk home calling card does anybody ptsd anybody is it kicking in for anybody there guys i had to get a talk home calling card and now they have them like digitally you can just have it online i literally remember so many trips to the shop to get a five pound ten pound talk home calling card for my mom or for my dad like african child <laughs> Literally, African child checking in. Anybody else relate? But I feel like it's not even just African child, it's just immigrants, like immigrant child checking in. I'm happy with this. Guys, I, I thought I was gonna do makeup, but I'm not gonna do that. Guys, I think this is gonna be me for the day. Some skin food, some Waleda skin food. I love to leave my skin to breathe. If I don't have to wear makeup, I won't. My skin, she's getting better. She's getting so much better. I have crazy hyperpigmentation though, left from all of my recent skin issues. Like all this, I need to book a facial. All right, she's cute, she's cute. Let's, should we go and run some errands? Let's. Guys, so I think and I hope and I pray that this is my Kai delivery. I think it is. So I've got a few bits that I wanted to show you. Like I said, I've got this from Kai. Is this from Kai? Ah, it is! Oh my God, it's just, oh my God, yes! The bag! Oh, I forgot 
but they now deliver in these <gasps> tote bag guys i don't need another tote bag i really don't but maybe this is one that i need <gasps> i need this tote bag look you are the main character absolutely and then the other side just says kai look at the size of this this is literally half of me oh my gosh i'm so excited that's a good start okay sire keep it up it's a nice little extra okay so i ordered one two three four five six pieces from the cell and i have been waiting <gasps> these boxes that i have everywhere are low-key handy guys oh my gosh all right <gasps> yes oh guys the quality that feels gorgeous i don't even remember what the names of these are do the items have the names on them no it doesn't you know what let me get up the website so that we can get the names oh that's so funny look the last person to have messaged me Isaiah. that's so funny i love a black business from infinity to infinity i really should have worn and look what come up what came up on my feed the first thing to come up on my feed look kai coat so this is the kai logo embroidered track and i've got the trousers and i've also got sweatshirt i think it's called online yeah it's called sweatshirt as well so i got mine in this rich burgundy color and they have the new kai logo on them why is my phone it's dad kenya this is going to be wedding related hello how are you wow dad wow where's this wow that's nice let me see the bathroom okay yeah the oh nice i like this how far um, yeah all right okay we're talking the evening and then I'm at home now. all right then ah! <laughs> guys oh my goodness when a door closes another one surely will open for you guys i i don't even know i didn't talk about it because it happened yesterday and when it happened my reaction i literally laughed like i literally laughed that when he was in the shower and i was like how do i break this bad news to this man like how do i break this news to him and i looked at him and i was like this is really gonna disrupt his day but literally after reading the message my reaction was just to laugh because if we don't laugh you're gonna cry tell me why my dad texted me yesterday saying that the hotel that our guests are going to be staying in during the nyombo is under has gone under literally the message said the hotel has gone under and that is what was cracking me up it's the way it was written and i was just like well of course it has like of course something has gone wrong but guys i'm so proud of my reaction to it and how i like literally took the news i remember i literally remember messaging my dad yesterday being like it's gonna be fine like i'm pretty sure what did i say guys my reaction is that's a real shame but i'm not surprised but no worries i'm sure it will all work out me <laughs> If this happened at the time of our white wedding, guys, I would have still been crying now. I would have been still crying now. But one thing that I've learned is that when something happens, you need to find solutions. You need to be thinking about solutions instead of like wasting your time feeling so overwhelmed by the thing that's happened, guys. That's how I burnt out in 2022. Like, we're not doing that again. But my dad has just gone and found an even more amazing hotel like oh that was so stunning i can't wait for him to call us back later and then that you can get to see it as well what else did i get oh i think i must have got these pieces for kenya i think i should have got an extra small in this top <gasps> no oh no 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 i should have got an extra small am i extra small in kai i came to check my label it's like it just doesn't have the label when i checked this one looks smaller doesn't it this is my other kai top oh i'm gonna have to send this back or should i put it up i don't have a depop i'll figure it out by the time the vlogs goes up if you're interested and i haven't sold it dm me and i will sell it to that person because i think it's a little bit too big for me and the set the skirt definitely stretchy so if you're looking to buy it you can definitely size down this is too big for your girl but i kind of expected that of the skirt that would have been so cute for kenya but she has to go back okay what else is in here <gasps> oh okay i've got these two tops guys this is so this is the next dress this is the dita silky long and it's either in the yara or the cobra print and i've got them both in a size 
small. The way I'm wearing it right now is not how it's advertised. It's meant to be like, well, at least the way she's wore, she wore it with like jeans underneath and like open. And that's how I intend to wear it. But it came like bottled up. And I think this is actually going to be perfect for Kenya. Like, you know, when you're going to go and see aunties and uncles and you need to be dressed decently, like that's literally the word that they love to use. This is cute and decent and with some accessorizing some like heavy necklaces here like maybe like a basket something that i can get from like kenya and then some bangles a cute bag this is so freaking cute i love the print so i got it in this print and also this print i literally can't decide which one i love more this top here reminds me of this Kai top that I already own. This reminds me of this. Again, I don't plan on wearing them as like a closed dress. I plan on opening this up all the way to the top here and having like trousers or jeans underneath and then wearing it that way. But this is cute. I got this one in a size small. I think that's it. Is that all of it? Yeah, that's all of my Kai. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I... I wasn't even trying to try them on. I wanted to just show you. Now I feel like I don't want to take too much of your time with showing you my ASOS stuff, but I'll quickly do it, quickly, quickly. I have to mention, the quality of these dresses are just delicious. Like it's this heavy, silky, you put it on and like it just drops on itself and it like drops in a weighty way. Gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. I'm a fan, big fan, big, big, big fan. Okay, so my ASOS stuff. Oh, guys, I forgot. Damani some pajamas from um Chelsea Piers because actually I wanted some ch put pajamas from Chelsea Piers but I didn't find any that I liked but I found some that I liked for Damani so I just got them for him. I like this, it's got like sun and moon. I like this one as well because animals he likes animals. <laughs> this was really random. I wasn't sure about this one because this is like Aztec print, but Damani really likes colourful things. Look, all his things are just really colourful and patterns and shapes. I thought he might like this. He might like it. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> this set. Oh, I like this. Oh, these are silky. These are gorgeous. Chelsea Piers, very nice. Oh, these are really nice too. It's got like sun and moon in them. These are really nice. Cool. I didn't buy myself much else. Oh, okay. It was just two hoodies. But these were so expensive. I remember these. I just want some hoodies. And I got these. And I didn't understand why they were priced the way they were priced. I thought that it was a bit excessive. I got it in a large because I like my hoodies really, really big. But maybe this is a little bit too big. Oh God. Maybe this is a little bit too big. And it's not even as long. It's wide, but it's not long. This is how it looks. I'm going to have it linked below. It's nice. Maybe large is fine after all. This is a very underwhelming form. Oh, some trousers. Yes, I need trousers because I'm always in leggings. So I got these from Topshop, wardrobe trousers. I got them actually in a size 14. My thighs and things that don't have stretch, it just doesn't work. But I also thought the 14 might work because it's got an elasticated waist, so it should fit my waist. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh wow, they fit. See, this is exactly why I hate shopping. How am I an extra small in one brand and then a size 14 in a different brand? Like on the size chart, it wouldn't, it doesn't size chart, which is why I hate shopping because like it's trial and error and mm -mm. look, let me show you this. Look at that. Can you see? That actually fits. But like I said, <laughs> Trousers are a size 14. I try not to be bothered about what the tag says. I'm more bothered about how it fits around me. As you can see, the fit is fitting. Like, it fits all around. There's even a little bit of room, but I'm happy with that. Absolutely keeping those, keeping those, gonna have those linked. And they have no stretch whatsoever, but they fit perfectly. Absolutely love these. I wanna keep those. I'm gonna also try and link them below. Got them from Topshop via ASOS. The last thing was another hoodie, and this is a brown one. You guys know I love brown. Brown and black. This is my two faves. A similar thing. That's it. I think I might just keep this outfit on actually. It's a yes from me. Okay, should we now go and run these errands that I have been avoiding? Yeah, let's do it. 
so my plan of attack is to go to Lidl first because of the time I want to try and miss that after work rush where everybody's going to go and get their dinners and stuff so Lidl first then B and Q because it's furthest and then home bargains and then come back home and maybe I need food guys I'm so hungry I'm so hungry it's been a minute since we last kissed it's Wednesday guys, which means there's a new episode of The Receipt. I'm absolutely loving the two episodes a week. I love it, especially when I have things to do. It just helps me get through my tasks. And it actually has me thinking like, I really, I don't even want to say it, but I really want to go back to uploading twice a week on YouTube. There was like a period of time when, when was it? Like just straight after I had bought my house, I was doing twice a week uploads. We were doing Wednesdays and Sundays, Wednesdays and Sundays. And I did that for like some time. I don't want to go back to that. I kind of want to go back to that, but I don't know. I feel like I'm waiting to hit certain like personal targets. Like I have personal targets that I've set for myself for like the channel and like viewership and like subscribers and stuff. And so when like, I feel like if there's a demand for it, if there's people who are like, oh Lydia, we want to see you more. Cause you know, we're watching the video as soon as it drops and like it hits the view count that I have in my head like everyone has goals right so I have a goal in mind for each video and so I feel like once the videos start hitting that total number every single week then that's going to give me like the idea or the impression that you guys are loving the content and you guys want to watch it ASAP as soon as it drops so I can actually put more content out because at the same time I don't want to oversaturate I don't want to be here like kicking myself and punishing myself to try and get these two videos out and then you on the other side of it is feeling like overwhelmed and like oh my god there's too much to catch up on i get it like there's life there's things to sort out i want to just find something that works for both of us maybe just reduce the weekly vlogs maybe to like 30 minutes and that way i can then also do like another video that's 30 minutes and that way you get an hour of me but in two different videos do you know what i mean in two different things two different topics what do you think because another thing that i like that i see everyone always does on their channel that i don't want to just do it because everyone does it so people always do like dilemmas and advice and i really like that format because i love listening to receipts dilemmas right and also youtubers also do like dilemmas and, like, and advice videos but the only thing is that i am not the best at taking advice so i don't like to be given advice i don't like to be given unsolicited advice i don't mind being given advice but if it's unsolicited i don't like it but i guess if you guys are telling me in the dilemma then it will be solicited advice i like boundaries and i don't want to confuse people and be like oh you know lydia's always dishing out advice so yeah let's chuck this at her way uh-uh no 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 you're talking to a sensitive babe here okay but yeah that's the other thing that i was thinking like maybe like sit down dilemmas chats you guys let me know let me know in the comments what you guys want to see if you are enjoying the one hour long vlogs or if you think it's too long or talk to me like i said it's a community and i love what we're doing i'm loving like you guys commenting more i love the comments i read them all i really do and yeah things are great like things feel good right now apart from the hunger in my belly i'm so hungry so so hungry but let's go to the supermarket first and then let's do the other stuff because the supermarket i'm really not looking forward to even doing it like it's an in and out it's an in and out because it's not the morning i have just got to the supermarket i've already seen from the outside that it's so busy in there i already know that i'm not gonna enjoy it but anyway let me change let me let me change my mindset what can i say that's positive <laughs> What can I say that's positive? Okay, I get to go inside to go and get food that's going to nourish our stomachs and going to get ginger that's gonna make my husband feel better. Does it hit? A little bit. <laughs> Let's go and do this shop. Oh, dot. Guys, why am I so popular today? Hey. What's up, girl? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, babe, how are you? Yeah, it's nice. Thanks, babe. You did yourself? I did, actually. I don't know, what you doing, you busy? I'm just about to go to the supermarket, but we can chat. Little. Yeah, you already know. Don't, everything always happens at little, so don't forget. You key, don't forget your bag, don't do something. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I've got my pound, I've got my keys, okay. I've got my bag. But something does always happen at little. I don't know why. Why is that? But yeah, what's up, girl? You guys just heard a dot saying something always happens when I come here. I'm literally going back home because I don't have my card. Something always happens when I come here. There's a power in tongue because I always say that. So of course it makes room for things to, to happen. And if anything, if not even the power in the tongue, I should just be smart enough and just cross check everything that always happens. I always leave my card, I always don't have my little pound coin or I don't have my bag. Like it's always either one of those three. So surely I should just check. Gosh, got my card and we are back on the road again. So that's good. Oh my God, guys, we have been out. Damani and I have been outside lately. Like literally last week, we went out four times in one week. We went out to blank canvas 
which was so much fun. It was like a day party. And then we ended up in Duck and Waffle where we bumped into one of our friends. That was really fun. And then we went to, oh, I took Damini to the Candlelight concert and it was the 90s R&B version. It was good though. No. We had seats at the very back. Like I literally got these tickets like super last minute. And um, do you know what? Should I just show you? I think I have some footage from that evening. booking office we're here for dinner and drinks with Lauren I haven't seen Lauren since our wedding Candlelight concert was okay. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but the vibes were nice, you know? And it was a nice little treat. It was actually us celebrating an anniversary. And because one thing about me and Damini, oh, we need a quarter of a reason and we're gonna use it to celebrate. So yeah, we were celebrating one of our mini anniversaries. First time we met, first time we went for drinks, first time I said I love you, first time you looked at me funny. Everything has an anniversary. Also, if you're in a relationship, please let me know. Are you someone like me and Damini who celebrate everything? Or are you somebody who like overrides it all just because you got married? My sister's always like, Lydia, y'all are married now, so you, you have to override everything. And the main and only anniversary that you celebrate is your wedding anniversary. I was like, oh, when there's life to live, stop. <laughs> Till right just when I wanted to go and pay. One task done. Next, B and Q, then home bargains. And then we can go home. I think I might even make chapatis tonight. I'm gonna start using up like all of the ingredients that we have at home in the freezer in the fridge. It's even why I'm making that frozen chicken to here. Let me offload this. Missed call. Oh, from Ify, damn. Ify rang me. Guys, what's up today? Everybody's looking for me. Ify London. <laughs> this is the last thing that you did for me. What are you talking about? You don't remember it? Oh my goodness, yes. You did it yourself. I did it myself. Who is this person? <laughs> I did it myself. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thank you. That was Ify. She was just calling to catch up because we're working on something. Ify London is finally getting a website. Woo! Guys! Ify is working on a website and you're going to be able to shop her wigs. I am so excited about this. I am going to be involved in the day and I also believe I may be modeling. So she was just calling to catch up about that and also regarding Kenya stuff as well. Busy, busy, busy. This is what I mean. Like there's always something happening. Someone's always looking for me for something. And oh my God, I need to get back to Lauren, but I need to let her know about, not even just her, I need to let all the guests know about the change of hotel. God, that means going back on that website, Appy Couple. Oh my God, if you're getting married, don't use Appy Couple. What a useless website. It's so finicky and it's so clunky and it's so hard to do simple tasks, like send an email to everybody. You'd think you just type the email and then send to all. No. Oh my God, you have to go into this page and that page. I actually think I might jump on TikTok Live and make the 
to make the chapatis because I haven't been on TikTok Live. I haven't been. I said, I was like, oh my God, I want to be there all the time. <laughs> Let me be there all the time. All right, let's go. Home bargains. Oh, well, it's being in bargains. Let's do it. list really helps so i'm just here with my list in and out sponges we need those for me when i'm shopping one of the most important things to do is to make a list like if i have a list it just makes things so much easier literally so much easier all i need to do is just find them so i need kitchen roll i need these but i want thicker ones these are a bit small I don't like that. That's a bit small. I like I like a good size sponge. I like a good size sponge. Yeah, this one's better. Look, it's literally double the size. It's literally one and a half times the size. This is what we're going for. Sponge. What else do I need? I need like one of these. Damini uses these because he doesn't like to always get his hands wet. He's someone who likes to wash up using gloves. I need to get gloves. Not from my village. In my village, we don't do it like that. We wash with our hands my absolute favorite cleaning bleach if you're not on this yet you better jump on it do i want two or three three oh let's get three you want to say hi oh okay he's just here shopping yeah, I'm too, I'm too shy to say hi. oh it's okay um, we'll just say hi virtually <laughs> Oh, thanks babe. I've even forgotten what I came for. Toilet paper. You guys are so sweet. You're always saying hi to me in most random places. And y'all are so nice. So in here, I only need two things. One box for like my little medicine cabinet, which I want to make for packing and then one box for alcohol because all the alcohol that we have we're not going to be able to drink it before we need to move and then maybe one more the box for other stuff i love it in here this is like literally one of my favorite places last time i came in here was when we met ishmet when i was doing the kitchen counters and now we're about to leave time flies huh i need boxes like that see that behind me right ahead here uh, Perfect. literally just what we're looking for something like this for like a little medicine cabinet quickly and then i also need for like the alcohol this is this tall enough and that for the alcohol or do i get this for the medicine cabinet guys oh my god this is perfect these are literally exactly what i'm looking for i need one of these as well for the printer paper because our printer paper is just literally all over the place anyway i've got what i'm looking for so let me let me decide I don't think I need the big one. I'll use one of these for my little medicine cabinet and then I'll use the second one for all of my pills. Like, I have so, <laughs> so many pills. What else do I need? Oh, I wonder if they have wrapping paper here. My life has been consumed by packing and wrapping because I don't want to stress and I keep saying it, but the life is an outcome of things that you did versus things that you said that you didn't or didn't do. So I don't want to be stressed, so I'm really trying to pack ahead of time because last time when we paid those guys to come and pack they packed quickly they did but they packed random things everywhere it took me it took us ages to find things after oh my goodness guys we have almost come to the end of my errands i just need to go and pick up ice real quick and then i can go home i'm free where's my car <laughs> my car is down this way nearly free so i just want to go home make some chicken and then i think i'm gonna call it a night guys i left my lights on again this is how my battery drained i do this all the freaking time what's wrong with me the podcast is still playing you was a little child telling little lies here and there so guys i have parked up i'm about to go and get some ice but i have remembered that i need to ask damini for help i've actually been so good at asking for help lately i have literally been asking speaking being like guys please help me hey babe hey babe what's up 
Um, babe, I forgot to send you the details for the invoice. Yeah, but if you can, if you can send it to me, it'll be easy anyway because I need to do it through some app, and it's just it's not straightforward. So. All right, okay. I've just sent you that. Yeah, I've done that. And then let me send you the total. Thanks, babe. All right, babe. Um, let's go get ice. Am I bringing you guys along with me? I don't think so. It's just ice. You know what I'm doing. I'll be back. Back from Asda. One thing that you cannot trick me with is when companies change the flavor of their sweets. I'm an expert. I am an expert at jelly sweets. I have tried them all for years. I've loved them all for years. Asda has changed the jelly cherries and I know I can taste it. This is my crop tonight, guys. I just can't wait to the day when I grow up enough for me not to care about sweets, I'm not to be phased by sweets, I'm not to be teased by sweets. Oh my God. Honestly, very much giving addiction at this point. It is what it is. I got everything that I need. So now let's go home and make some dinner. I'm looking forward to making dinner actually. Guys, so let me not lie. I'm actually going to the chicken shop because it is 20 to eight. I haven't cooked. I haven't washed my hair, haven't made the ginger shots. Definitely chicken shop thing. And one with two pieces of chicken and then one with three pieces of chicken. Does it come with a drink? Can I add one drink and uh, tango apple please? Yeah. Cash. What? Only cash? Yeah. Next door? Yeah. Cash only? Like, what? Guys, I have stopped at the chicken shop because I'm about to pick up our dinner. I know that I said I wanted to make the Nando's fake away chicken but it is 7.35 and I haven't washed my hair, I haven't packed the small boiler room. Every single day I have like a list of things that I need to do leading to the move. Guys, there's no cash. <laughs> there's no cash. The cash machine has run out of cash. Oh my goodness. What? A girl just wants some chicken. I just want some chicken. Guys, dinner. This is so different to what I thought I was gonna do. I really thought, baby, now I was like, oh, I'm gonna go on TikTok Live and I'm gonna be making chapatis. Yeah, I was gonna help because it's gonna be chicken. No, but it's not happening. I know. <laughs> the thing about this is that the fries are going to be soggy now and I'm sorry about that and then I got you three wings and two pieces that's a lot of chicken dinner is served it's not every day look after your health let's go downstairs because down here I have boxes literally right here I told you guys it's an organized situation so these are like gonna must go at least that's what, <laughs> that's what my mom calls them so i think that's what i don't know if that's what they're actually called got these bags and then i've got some boxes that i ordered from amazon and then i they, they came with tape but i actually also ordered some extra tape but the thing is that these boxes it says that they're large and they're absolutely not large so i wouldn't really recommend these if you're moving because once you fold this and this you only have like Basically the space that the van is to pack, it's not very big, especially when it's compared to the other boxes that we had. Let me get changed into something a little bit more comfortable like PJs or something. I'm definitely still also on the lookout for some new PJs. I literally want some new PJs. I spend a lot of my time indoors. <laughs> so I feel like nice PJs is something that I want for myself, you know? And I love all my PJs. All my PJs are from Velvelux. I think even this set, I'm pretty sure that this set is from Velvelux. It's a black owned company. Obviously you guys know. Guys, I have my headphones. I have a podcast and then I have a task. So let's get going. here is exactly what I thought. My little random kind of DIY lights, toolbox situation, like command strips. I love a command strip. Love a little cheeky command strip, especially when you're renting. Tape, light bulbs. Ooh, Zara home fixtures. I must have just fallen in love with these and got them. That's the kind of thing I do. When I see something and I like it and I see it in my future, I buy it regardless of whatever time or when I bought this. I like them though. 
Good taste. Hold well on, babe. <laughs> yeah, it's just a whole bunch of stuff in here. My Gorilla Glue. Remember, I was telling you about this. This is what I used to fix the wheels on my suitcase. And they've actually stayed on. Like, the wheel completely came off. The wheels came off and I used Gorilla Glue. And it's really, really good. This is the epoxy one. Really, really good. There's like a whole stand of this in B&Q. Like I was saying, I love that place. And then Super Gel Glue. Another Gorilla product. And <laughs> look, another one. Gorilla Glue Clear. This is literally my little DIY box. And then these were curtain hooks because I wanted to like do this pleating thing in the curtains. And there's the old dish rack. I think this is what came with this house. So we need to make sure that we put that back. Damini bought this portable sink for us to wash his hair. And it actually worked quite well. Inflatable sink for you to wash your hair. And this is for when he's like deep conditioning his locks. And he's doing like a thorough, is it like an ACV wash? I believe like an ACV wash on his locks. So it really cleans them out. He doesn't need to do that like every week. So that's why this is kept down here. There's also just my camera bag. Video and tech every day. I have tech all around me and I love it. Ooh, creator's voice. This is like when you open the freezer and you think it's ice cream, but it's not. This is just where I keep Keep all of my hair braiding weaving packets and stuff like when i need to get my hair braided for like a hot trip so actually i'll be needing this so i need to know where this is see it's not so bad tidying up in here is not going to be so bad i knew it this can go in the spare room and then bath mats oh doc got me this <laughs> to a close i have finished in here did i show you look this is stuff that was already in there before and this is the light fixtures that we will change those are the light fixtures that we will change when it is time to leave that's it inside here i've literally just taken this off because this again is not ours so i've left that in there otherwise all done very happy. Now literally all I have to do is go and make ginger shots for Damini ahead of tomorrow. And then I can call it a day and we can be done. Oh my God, I'm so happy. My steps haven't really been like that today. 12.2. I didn't expect that because I didn't even have my watch on. Did I have, no, I had my watch yesterday. I had it on. Oh my God. I'm so happy about that. I was really expecting like 7,000, 8,000 steps, but I've got 12.2K steps. That's a good day. It's a good day of errands and a good day of steps. Let's go and finish it off. We'll just forgive the food for today, but I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm just being real. Yeah, let's go and make these ginger shots and then we can call it a night. What's behind me? Rubbish. Rubbish in the corner, PR stuff. Oh my God. I'm gonna go check my bowl. delicious guys look at what the turmeric did to my hands can you see look at my nails i cannot wait for my appointment lord anyway i prefer to use fresh turmeric even if it does dye absolutely everything it will wash off this is the ginger shot juice put some cayenne pepper in there as well put some oranges put some carrots put some ginger and then juice it and that's that what i need to do is now just empty into little ginger bottles that i get from amazon i'll link them below as well it is 10 past 11 10 past 11 and i believe that i am done with everything that i wanted to do today oh my goodness no i was about to say good night but i can't say good night yet because i need to go oh my god i need to go and deep condition my wig oh God, it just doesn't stop. I'm gonna put this away, then we're gonna go and condition my wig, and then hopefully I can say goodnight, because I'm tired, oh my gosh, what? I was hoping that I could chill. I'm gonna cover this for now, go and decondition my hair, and then I'll pull this out tomorrow. And I didn't even get to season the chicken. Oh my God, wow.
So I was actually inspired by this, this girl on TikTok who I saw giving her curly unit like a cold deep conditioning bath. So she deep conditioned her hair, kind of like how I normally do. Though she left hers for eight hours and then she, so she put it in an ice bath and she says that it makes the hair even softer. Then I watched another video and this girl, she used like silicone mix and I thought about doing it. Then I thought, it's another trip to the hair shop. Like I'm all tripped out today, like, ooh. Everybody saw me today, it's too much. <laughs> I need to be inside. So I'm just gonna do it with some regular conditioner, no silicone mix. And I'm not gonna soak it for eight hours because I don't have eight hours. Like I really don't, I'm trying to get to bed. I'll leave it maybe for a couple of hours. And then before I get to bed, I'll wash it off. Though, I don't know what couple of hours I'm talking about. It is half past 11. My bedtime is in 30 minutes. Even midnight is too late. I feel silly going to bed at midnight. I should be going to bed a lot earlier just because I actually enjoy sleeping. Like even though my sleep is sometimes interrupted, especially with when I'm stressed out and I get my night sweats. Still don't stop me from sleeping. I love sleep. I cannot wait to get my nails done. They've gone from chipped to now chipped and yellow. It's the turmeric. We are getting somewhere, taking out the braids. Now I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna use, what shampoo do I have here? Is it shampoo conditioner? I normally have a lot of conditioner. Neutroplenish shampoo, Avida Deep Moisture. This is what I'm gonna use. Then there's not very much of it. Oh, shampoo, here we go. I'll use this instead. Nourishing coconut milk. So I'm gonna wash all across the lace, wash the wig itself, and then do like one wash with deep conditioner and then soak it in the ice cubes. That's what she did. So let's soak the lace first. Just applying it on the perimeter. Y'all already know how to do this. And then the next time I wear it, when I go to go and get it fitted with Ify, I'll show you guys and we can see if it's any softer. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town Then I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my life I have the goods with me and I'm gonna use the bucket that I bought earlier on in b and to soak up this wig. And then I need to deep condition this wig. Lots and lots and lots of deep conditioner. This better come out softer than, I don't even know what, like softer than soft. I need it the softest it's ever been. I think I was going to put water in this. Anyway, she is done. She is soaked. She is in the, I was gonna say bucket. I need to stop saying bucket. She is in the container. I will check back in a couple of hours. And then the next time that I'm getting my hair installed with Ify, we can chat and I'll let you know like, is it actually, is it tea? Like, is it worth it? Do you know what I mean? Cause who's really here soaking their hair for eight hours? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have watched until this part, then please be sure to click the like button because it actually really helps out and it helps like recommend this video basically to people who would also like it. So please, I'd love for the like count to go higher. That's our mission, girls. Let's get the like count higher so that other people can see the channel. So thank you so much for watching until this part of the video. I am gonna love you and leave you and I shall see you in my next one. Mwah. Night.